If your house has got cold and hot spots in the winter or in the summer, don't fret. This happens to a lot of people. Just about every house I've ever owned, uh, this occurs. I'd like to share my experience on how I fixed this problem. Typically, I see this caused by three major things. One is you may have some missing air vents in uh, rooms or they may be covered up by a kitchen cabinet or even some carpeting. That's generally easy to fix. You could probably add a new air vent to a room for probably $50 or less. The next thing is poor insulation. This could be due to uh, old windows, leaky windows, even bad insulation in your attic. This can cost thousands of dollars to fix. The most common problem of cold and hot spots in a house is improper air balancing, and you can fix this for free. In fact, air balancing can even fix houses that are poorly insulated. This is typical of what I saw in my house in the uh, winter. I'd set my thermostat to 70 degrees, and uh, the side of the house closest to the, uh, the AC unit, hint, hint, was about 75 degrees. The opposite side of the house was uh, 65. In the summer, it was reverse. I'd set my thermostat to 78, and right by the AC unit, those rooms would be 73 degrees, and the opposite end of the house would be uh, 83. To balance this temperature, most people try to close off rooms to get uh, air from one end of the house to the other. Uh, this can result in some really bad whistling from air vents or even poor air distribution, depending on the air vent type that you, uh, that you have. Some vents might not even have adjustments. What I'd like to do over the next few minutes is show you how to uh, fix a typical forced air system the right way. When an engineer designs a house, they will compute the heat load for each room and then the required airflow to be supplied to each room. Then they'll design an appropriate duct system. They can't get it exact because of the duct sizing and the air uh, vent sizing, so they'll try to uh, put these little dampers, these little black boxes, at the intersection of the trunk duct and the, um, the branch ducts. Now what happens during installation, nobody goes back and sets these dampers to get the correct uh, airflow to each of the rooms. That's why you end up with these hot spots and these cold spots. So instead of getting maybe 400 CFM to the, uh, the master bedroom, it gets a, a ton of air, like 600 CFM. At the opposite end of the house, where room may need of 200 CFM, it may be only getting 50. This is why you have hot spots and cold spots in your house. To fix your hot spot, cold spot problem, all you need to do is throttle the dampers back. These are just examples of what I've done here. Uh, the little red rectangles here where it says 30%. I'm only letting 30% of the air to that room, or 50% to the room going to the kitchen. What that's doing, that's taking some of the air from the, um, the hotter rooms and putting it to more of the colder areas in the house. And once I fixed it for the winter mode, the summer mode will be fixed automatically. All right, we're now up underneath my house and uh, I kind of have it easy. I can get to most of my uh, vents and ducts and dampers relatively easily, except way in the back I've got some crawling to do. But, uh, you know, getting your house balanced right is really, it's worth its weight in gold. If you see this really large trunk duct off to the, uh, well, right now the center of the, the view here, uh, that, the intersection between the trunk duct and this branch duct here is where, uh, where your damper is going to be found. While you're up underneath your house, check all your duct work. Make sure you don't have any leaks. Make sure you don't have any kinks. And make sure every piece of duct work has a vent. You would be surprised on how many... Uh, Kitchen cabinet installers install right over the top of a, um, of a vent, closing your kitchen off. Or how many carpet installers put carpet right over a, uh, a vent. I've seen this several times. It's probably one of the biggest causes for lack of uh, the correct airflow in a room. So just check your ductwork, make sure they're all good and sound and you have enough air vents. Now, if you've gotten this far, you're, uh, you're home free. You can see the uh, small damper blade handle right here and just move it into the correct position. Now this is wide open. You can see how the handle is sort of parallel with a duct, but to close it off, just turn it clockwise or counterclockwise until you get to uh, the amount that you need. Now, I'm not gonna be able to tell you where that is until you measure the temperature in your rooms, figure out if the room is still too hot or too cold and uh, just accordingly. But you can see the duct work is actually torn here so I can get to the handle. This is nice. I don't know who did that, it wasn't me, but some of them are not going to be like that. Let me show you what that looks like. Now, if your ductwork isn't ripped so the handles stick out, you're going to have to feel around for it. And it's going to be, you know, about an inch or two inches from the actual trunk duct itself. And just sort of feel around until you find that handle. You don't have to rip your duct to find it, but this is clearly not it. I can see the, uh, there's like a little wing nut or something right here. So the handle's going to be the, uh, on the opposite side. All right, the other side, just feel around for the handle. And I can feel a little shaft right here. So if you just take that and just kind of slide it down little by little, you can open or close that, uh, that dampers you need. Getting the airflow in your house properly balanced will probably take a few days. You need to set the dampers one time, 
let the house have a day or two to stabilize in terms of temperature, then you may have to readjust your, um, your dampers. It took me about two or three tries to get it just right in my house. If you take a look at the room temperatures of my house after the settings, I've got a very consistent temperature throughout my entire house. This is what it was all about, getting the right air balancing in the house. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Thanks for watching.